Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another December daily video. So in this video, I'm actually just gonna be doing a walkthrough of days 15, 16, and 17. So I did a record my process, but just for the sake of time and wanting to get this out there to you guys, and then also I'm still preparing for Christmas for myself, I just thought it would be easier to just do a walkthrough, especially because uh, my spreads are pretty straightforward, so if you want to do something very similar, it would be really easy to do that. All right, so day 15, if you remember, is the back of day 14. I created a pocket, so you remember I had to go back and actually make that pocket. Well, in the pocket, I created a tag, and this story is basically an around here story or like around the house, but I told it instead of with photos, I told it with words and my prompts were hear, see, and smell. So the stuff that we hear, the stuff that we see, and the stuff that we have been smelling. So those were my prompts for telling the story. And I like the change from uh, just going around and taking pictures. I like having, um, I like having the senses here. So some of the things were knocks on the door for with deliveries from friends and deliveries for packages. Uh, my daughter, because she's home, sniffles because there's been uh, some mild colds around here, Christmas music, laughter, th those sorts of things. Then for C, things like uh, Christmas cards, or we're seeing a lot of Christmas cards coming, twinkle lights, my girls making gifts for their friends, which I absolutely love that, counting down with the advent, so that's been fun to see also. Uh, smells, peppermint cookies, sugared almonds, the scent of pine, homemade pizza. So just stuff that we've been kind of smelling around the house lately. And so that just obviously slips right in the pocket there. And I really tried hard and I told myself I was not going to add anything to this tag. I wasn't going to do what I've done uh, for the, you know, the last couple times. But you guys, I just could not resist. I just couldn't resist. So I was thinking of doing like the 15 there and maybe adding the stuff here, but I just loved it dangling from the tag. So that's what I decided to do. I just, like I said, I just couldn't resist it. So this little foliage die cut came from the Merry Days. This Loving December came from Allie's, uh, this came from Allie's kit. And then you can see that I've got this little puffy sticker here and here, and these all came from the Merry Days collection also. And then this 15 I actually created using the digital file from uh, the wood veneer numbers. So if you got those wood veneer numbers or if you uh, bought that digital file, that is the same style. And I'm trying to think, I, I made a bigger one, but let me just show you my negative piece here. So I took the digital file and I cut it with the silhouette and I made a smaller one and a larger one because I just wasn't sure what I wanted. I cut four. So then when I stacked them, they were really thick and it looks like a really thick chipboard. It's pretty substantial. Really like the way that looks there. So that is day 15. All right, so for day 16, I told the story about my husband taking my daughter snowboarding. And it was pretty exciting because she got to miss school and you don't, you know, you don't always get to get pulled out of school by your dad. So I thought that that was really fun for them. And I decided to just do it all on one page protector. So I've got the photo here and then the story in the back or the journaling in the back. And then I got this really cool uh, snowflake die. This came from Simon Says Stamp. I believe it's the Felicity Snowflake. And I just cut it down. I'd actually die cut it earlier with the intention that I probably would use it in this album. And so it was just sitting on my desk and so I grabbed it. You know, I thought snowflake, they're up in the mountains, so I thought it went really well. The 16 I got from last year's December Daily Supplies. I can't remember if it came in the kit or if it came separate, but I just, um, I liked that it was a little bit smaller. I also really liked that the hole in the snowflake kind of matched the hole in the six, so I kind of added it there so it wasn't dead center. And then you can see that I added Rick Rack to the side. I just went ahead and I stitched that on. It was just this green Rick Rack. And I like the idea of A, tying into this foliage die here. But also I don't have a lot of green. And so I thought it would be fun to add green there. Then for this tab, I actually used uh, Kathy Zilski and Simon Says Stamp have these tab dies. So here's the smaller one that I used. 
And then here is the larger one. I thought these would be really great for mini albums or even Project Life when you need a tab. And I just used this Merry Days paper. It's the same, um, it's just the back side of that and created a tab. And so that is sewn on as well. And I just thought that that would add a little bit of interest. And of course, color wise, I just love that they all go together. And then on the back side, like I mentioned, is the journaling. And because I wasn't there with them, I'd actually asked my daughter if she wouldn't mind doing the journaling uh, and just talking a little bit about that day. And I used the card from the December Daily Kit that says December Life. All right, so for day 17, I'm telling the story about how my daughter came home from college and how that made everything seem way more Christmassy. So I just talked a little bit about there that there. And then I did a, another see-through element because I just love these. And I decided, let me take this out. So I ended up putting two transparencies in here because originally I did it on a clear transparency but I really wanted to have something subtle behind it and I just thought that these stars are really great because they're not really bold and white but they're you know pretty subtle so I decided to pair it with that and instead of feeling like I had to just add these onto here I just slipped them both in there and the stickers that I use I don't remember if these came in a December daily from years ago or if I got these from Studio Calico because I have different colors I have like some black and white and gold I think even silver but I think they came in a December daily from years ago but I've always really liked the font you can tell and I did not do this intentionally but this is a very similar stamp and this stamp also came from Studio Calico so I'm wondering if they used the same font there so let me turn back to 17 so when I was looking through here and trying to decide what words I could do I figured out that I had everything for love but I had used the O in the word joy I think in 2015 or 16 one of one of those albums so uh, I got creative and I decided to use a heart and I love it when things like that happen when you you know it ends up being cuter than it probably would have been with the O adding that heart there and then I decided to add those number stickers those white number stickers right on top uh, just for the 17 so I really loved how that ended up turning out and then on the back side for day 18 is a story about our puppy and just how much joy she brings into our life. So it was just kind of a letter to our dog. So I paired it with this really cute photo of her hanging out by the tree because she enjoys doing that. This red card came from the Paisley Press Kid. It says, it's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who's gathered around it. And I thought that that was really sweet seeing how she's always uh, loves being around the tree. And then I just did some journaling. This little uh, digital file here came from Paisley Press, December Faves number seven. So I just grabbed over that wreath and then this is also the same number set like from day 17, but it's the red. And this I bought separate. This came from Allie's site that comes in a bundle with a whole bunch of different colors. So really happy I got those red ones this year. And then this puppy sticker came in the December Daily Kit. I actually wanted, I really wanted to do, sorry, I've got something on there. I really wanted to do a different color, but because this is so much joy, and I actually say so much joy twice in this journaling, I decided that I had to use that heart there. And then I've got this little star here that came in the Merry Days puffy sticker set. I just thought it needed a little something there, and that one is the gold one. I guess I could have done the black, but I like, you know, I like that little pop of yellow there. Anyway, so that is what I have so far. I do have days 19 in the works, and I will have a process video for that because it is a little bit more involved than making a flip pocket, but anyway you guys that is it for days 15 16 17 and 18 if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and i will answer them for you thank you guys so much for being here again i really hope things are going great with your album i may have one more video you for you guys before christmas comes along but if not merry christmas you guys i hope you have a fabulous holiday